gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it everyone thank you for coming back to the channel that's Deb Chanel's 48th world where we get down with reviews okay I want to thank you all and continue to uh, like comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel okay so we can blow up together but we're gonna go on and get into this little video where Eva Marcel from the Real Housewives of Atlanta is saying there's a snake in the camp and they are fracturing several relationships what could she be talking about y'all Eva, who you talking about, girl? Go on and drop down. Don't do no subliminals. Don't be talking like um, you can't say the person's name. This 2019 going into 2020. We drop names over here. Go on and tell us who is being taken fraudulent over there in the Real Housewives of Atlanta camp. Is it Nene? Is it Kenya? Is it Candy? Is it Portia? Is it Cynthia? Is it, uh, what is her name? Uh, Yovana, is it uh Marlo? Who else we got over there? Chamari, tell us, honey, tell us who is playing foul in the playground so we can put them on blast, all right, and ask them for some answers of why they're doing what they're doing, okay? But the title uh, of the article is Eva Marcel says a snake. On Real Housewives of Atlanta have fractured several relationships. It's given to us by Page Six Magazine, TV, uh, Page6.com, Magazine, uh, however you want to view it. It's coming from their camp. And their journalist of this particular article is Jessica Bennett. Let's go and see what she got to say. Quoting Eva Marcel, she's saying lately the cast of Real Housewives of Atlanta has been spilling Teaser T tea on the upcoming 12th season. And now Eva Marcel has revealed that an unexpected snake. Yes. On the show has turned much of the season upside down. Upside down. Boy, you turn me inside out. And round, round. Upside down, you turn me. That's Diana Ross. Get into it. Okay. Going back to the article, it says there's definitely a snake in the group. And a lot of this season, you see us trying to figure out who's the snake, okay? Who is the snake? The 35-year-old explained to Too Fab, all right? And it's like so unassuming and kind of catches you off guard. Literally, no one expected it. At some point, you'll find out who it is, but you couldn't guess it. They just created so much discord between the girls and different relationships and friendships were severely fractured from this particular snake. I said, okay, okay, I'm here for it. Now, who is it? Hell, we don't wait it all know how long for y'all to come back. Now y'all put so much on our plate uh, as appetizers that we don't know if we want to go to the main course or not because the appetizers have just been so exciting. All right, you got, uh, what's the name, Sincerely Ward coming over there to Candace Place, the old LG camp. Dropping dime that she's the mistress that social media is talking about that was fooling around allegedly with uh, Portia Williams' fiance, Dennis McKinley, boyfriend at the time. But either or, it's still there. You know, it's like that song, it's morning, sunlight, something across the face. All right. We ain't going to get into that because y'all didn't come here for my somewhat singing. All right. But y'all know Shirley Murdoch. You know, that uh, as we lay. So, I'm like, what? what is going on, girl? Come on. Do that pillow talk. Go on and spread the beans. Go on and put the stuff out there so we can just be glued to our TVs when Sunday evening comes, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay, on the Bravo channel. But anyway, going back to the article, that's just my sidebar. It says the model... And Mother of Three went on to update fans on the state of her relationship with former big sis, Nene Leakes, whom she called out during last season's reunion for wearing a mic during a conversation Marcel asked to be kept private. Now, foul on play. Flag on play. When did you think you're going to be a part of a big franchise as Bravo Entertainment and you're not going to be mic'd up? Come on, Eva. You're getting like Cynthia. You're having that uh, absent-mindedness going on. All right, we ain't here for it. I'm sure the ladies had told you. You're going to be mic'd up all the time. If you want to play Shady, go on and do it. All right, but it's going to be uh, for the uh, people 
on the screen to see. All right. And then they're going to edit it and put it out however they want to. So even no, we, nothing on the Real Housewives of Atlanta is kept private. That's what they pay y'all for to produce negative drama. And you ladies have been doing a fantastic job, okay? Making me think, well, hell, are you really like that in real life? Are you really like that in real life? Can we get a little of you in whatever parts you try to play, whether you're an actress or an actor? Somehow in there, you give us a little bit of you. So I'm wondering all these craziness these ladies have been doing. Are we seeing some of them? Are we seeing who they are? They just shadowing it all up and mixing it all up until something gets portrayed. Maybe it's who they really want to be, you know, for the ones that are going around now being bullies and uh, <coughs> know-it-alls and just want to be fussified and start chaos and dissension and all that crap. Are we really seeing who they are? Just a little smidgen. Okay, I don't know. I'm just saying, okay, but going back to the article, it said um, Nene and I were in an okay place, Marcel said. You get to see during the season where we left off which was not so great and us try <coughs> excuse me and us try to figure out what's going going to happen here if we're even going to make amends and what that would look like so we spent some time trying to figure it out what that would look like today i can say we're definitely not where we were and not where i wish or thought we would be now but it's not as bad as it could be okay so basically what you're telling us you're getting along with her <laughs> you're being pleasantly charismatic, uh, fabulous running around there with her, playing airs, not really being truthful, just to spin a storyline and continue to get your check. Okay, if that's what you're saying, I can get with it. Thank you for being honest. But going back to the article, it said, when it came to working with returning housewives, Kenya Moore, Marcel says it was pleasantly surprised by the former beauty queen. I don't know if it's because she's a mom or what it is. I mean, don't get me wrong. We didn't always see eye to eye and that you will see that during the show. We definitely had our share of disagreements and not being on the same page. However, overall, as a person, I like Kenya. She's a good egg. She's a nice woman. And she's definitely genuine. <coughs> excuse me, genuinely. Uh, what well, I say, a, a genuine person, per se. Okay, and that's pretty much as she gives us to this video of what's going on. I'm trying to figure out who the snake is. I know that's too obvious. It cannot be um, Nene Leaks. Cannot be Kenya Moore because they are too upfront with starting shade, starting shit, and trying to command it and bring it back and then try to throw their hands a rock at a glass house. Then try to hide their hands if they ain't doing that. So we know. It could not be those two. Uh, we're doing this reasonable, deductive, critical thinking here. Uh, I don't really think it would be, well, it could be Cynthia, but she would kind of be too obvious, too. I mean, if she's the but, uh, the caterpillar turned into a butterfly now, but she's standing on her own two feet. She's not getting any help from Mike Hill, her fiance, uh, trying to be the underdog to come out and try to get everybody together and shade them at all at once. At the same damn time. Is that what she doing? That's what she's trying to say? Huh. Because we always had that theory in the back of our minds. Or could it be Candy? Well, Candy's always been kind of messy here and there. You know, she always uh, tried to throw Kim Fields under the bus here and there. She didn't really try to take up for her. She really didn't try to take up for Shamari uh, DeVoe. She was kind of uh, on, what's her name, side? Marlo's side. With regard to saying she drunk too much. She's a heavy drinker. Don't know how to hold her liquor. So, you know, Candy was like half nice, nasty shading her. But then she gave her a little part in her dungeon tour. So, maybe that was a makeup. But that, that's nowhere near being on Real Housewives of London. And having that large part of a platform to sell and advertise yourself. You know, you being your brand. And you trying to strike out on different other avenues. And, you know, Real Housewives in Atlanta is a big machine behind you. You could do those things. But... Hey, I don't even know, is she on the show anymore? She's been doing interviews on the side saying she wasn't fired. She quit. <laughs> Some people saying 
you know, well, why did you quit? You know, at least you had somewhat of an end still. She wanted to do other things other than being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta because, you know, it was so negative and just, you know, she giving her all the spin, but it is what it is. You know, don't knock the horse when you know you rode it a couple of times, so don't knock it because you're not being featured. That's all I'm saying. Uh, <clears throat> my opinion, strictly. Uh, so I don't know who it else could be because Marlo, she been shade too, and she's been known to go behind people's backs and say things and bring out receipts uh, here and there, bringing people to the forefront to verify her stories and, you know, making sure her receipts were valid. So I don't know. I don't know who it could be going around here sowing all this discord itself for, you know, Cynthia Bailey trying to make a rise. And, you know, if anything she, she, that she's making a rise is because, um, that name, Mike Hill is, is, is popping her up, saying, baby, you can do this. You've been the underdog for so long. You've been the passive one. You've been sitting on the, the bench too long. It's time for you to get in the game, and I can show you. <laughs> so pretty much that's who I believe may be the corporate that's turning around, uh, side-eyeing everybody, going in everybody's camp, you know, spreading little truths, little uh, untruths, uh, you know, taking them each way like a little bone care like Sheree was a few times in the uh, seasons uh, in the past. So, I, I don't know. Y'all get down and tell me what y'all think. Who do y'all think the, who is the snake in the camp? Okay. Is it a friend of a friend of a friend of the housewives or is it a, a honor, well, not an honorary, but a true full-fledged uh, full-time peach holder? What do y'all think? Tell me who y'all think the snake in the grass running around there causing so much havoc and discord. I would like to hear it. But that's all I have for this video. See y'all next video. And don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.